After failed relationships with R&B singers, rappers, athletes, and a dating coach, we were happy to hear that R&B singer LaToya Luckett found love with a regular degular schmegular man named Tomicus Tommy Walker. We even featured their love story in a previous video, which we've linked for you in the description box. Initially, we thought the Houston native had found her perfect match, but come to find out, their relationship was a hot, stinking mess, and Tommy was for the streets. Allegedly. I've been fighting for my place. Before these red flags start busting you upside the head, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of barbecue brisket beef jerky, chicken and waffles popcorn, and butter toffee peanuts. After her two-month marriage to Rob Hillman came to an end, LaToya told Essence Magazine she was handing things over to God. She threw out her list of qualities she wanted in a partner and decided to allow life to unfold on its own. And maybe that's where things went wrong. NBC News compared dating without a game plan to going to the grocery store without a shopping list. You end up impulsively grabbing a bunch of items you don't need and end up leaving the store without the one thing you went shopping for in the first place. In other words, it's always best to keep a clear idea of what you want in a partner and a relationship so you don't end up settling for a bugaboo. LaToya put her energy into practicing self-love. She also went to Pastor John Gray for some advice. Mm-hmm. The same pastor that has been caught up in a couple of cheating allegations. Allegedly. But anyway, LaToya told Pastor Gray she was sick of going through life on her own, and she had an intense urge to find the right partner and start a family. Some might say LaToya was a bit desperate. Others might say there's nothing wrong with a woman expressing her desire to move to the next stage of her life. Either way, the pastor told her it was her season to meet her husband, and he was right. A few months later, while attending a friend's wedding, LaToya told her friend, designer Nikki Chu, that she had been praying for a good man. That's when Nikki suggested she meet her boyfriend's brother, Tommy, a divorced father of one. Nikki gave LaToya a brief rundown about Tommy, and LaToya was intrigued. She told Nikki it was okay to give him her number, but only on one condition. She told Nikki she bet not give Tommy her full name or any information about her being a celebrity. LaToya wanted to make sure he had good intentions and liked her for who she was. Meanwhile, after his eight-year marriage came to an end, Tommy told Exo Nicole website he fasted from dating and embraced a life of celibacy. He said he took a step back from being around a lot of women and focused on co-parenting his daughter and running his business called Walker Enterprise in Dallas, Texas. In one interview, he said he wasn't interested in getting married again because he didn't want to experience any more heartbreak. But in an interview with Essence magazine, Tommy said he was getting ready for his future wife. He wrote down all the attributes he was looking for in a partner. He wanted her to be a helpmate, a teammate, and his soulmate. The day after Nikki gave him LaToya's number, he called her, and the Texas natives hit it off immediately. Tommy said that at first, LaToya felt like one of his homegirls because she was, quote, country as hell. But once they started praying together over the phone, everything shifted. Their conversations got deeper as they talked about their lives and read the Bible together. They even talked about settling down and starting a family, even though he didn't know what she looked like and she only referred to herself as Toya. She always just said Toya, so... Mm -hmm. Another black girl named Toy, you know. Why gotta so be another black girl named Toy? Because right? most black girls are named Toy. No, they not! Tommy told her all about his daughter, Madison. And oddly enough, LaToya told Christian Post website that she always dreamed of having a little girl and naming her Madison. So she took it as a sign from God. She was living in Los Angeles at the time, and after a month, Tommy and his daughter flew out to L.A. to meet her in person. Now, why did he bring that innocent baby to another state to meet a stranger? Cha! They had their first date at a restaurant, and that's when she told him her full name. Tommy's response was, LaToya from Destiny's Child? Mm -hmm. Man, I had a crush on you in high school, <laughs> dog. Now listen, if you have a crush on a celebrity, wouldn't you recognize them right away? Especially if the celebrity's face card has remained the same throughout the years? Hmm, yeah, we're calling cap on this one. 
For their second date, LaToya and a friend took Tommy and his daughter to Disneyland. LaToya told Essence that by that point, she had fallen for him. And by date number three, Tommy said he knew he was staring into the eyes of his future wife. They got engaged in August 2017, and they became husband and wife four months later, with Pastor John as the officiator. Less than a year after saying, I do, they announced they had a baby on the way. All of LaToya's dreams were finally coming true. But there was already trouble in paradise. During an episode of T.I. and Tiny Friends and Family Hustle, doctors were concerned about LaToya going into preterm labor. Instead of remaining by her side during that difficult time, Tommy left to spend time with his daughter in Dallas, whom he hadn't seen in two weeks. Because she suffered a miscarriage during her relationship with Rob Hillman, LaToya was on edge and anxious. She wanted her husband to be by her side, but he wasn't. In that situation, LaToya was facing two challenges. The first one was her realization that there might be certain situations where her husband would put his child first. The second challenge included all of the issues that came with being newlyweds and having a baby on the way so soon after tying the knot. She admitted during an episode of Friends and Family Hustle that she and Tommy were still getting to know each other all while starting a family. So, did they rush into the marriage? You betcha. They celebrated their first wedding anniversary in December 2018, and their daughter Gianna was born in January 2019. LaToya told Essence Magazine that she and Tommy sat down with Tommy's ex-wife and her new husband to talk about their blended family goals. Thankfully, they were able to get along peacefully, but LaToya had other battles to face. She told Exo Nicole website that she was carrying a lot of baggage from her previous relationships, and a lot of things triggered her. She was constantly battling negative feelings, and after disagreements with Tommy, she automatically thought their marriage was over. In June 2019, they experienced a devastating loss when Tommy's mom passed away from cancer at the age of 57. Grief has the ability to bring couples closer together, but as for LaToya and Tommy, it changed the dynamic of their relationship. LaToya said he also became very short with her and withdrawn. So when she found out she was pregnant with baby number two shortly thereafter, she wasn't sure it was the right time to welcome another addition to the family. She announced her pregnancy to the public in March 2020, and two months later, it appeared that Tommy had completely checked out of their marriage. During an episode of Friends and Family Hustle, she and Tommy were in marriage counseling to work through their issues prior to the arrival of their baby. They opened up about behaviors that were detrimental to their marriage. LaToya said their daughter was still sleeping in the bed with them, which made it difficult for them to have alone time. She also expressed how she didn't like Tommy's assertive tone. Things got extremely tense when the counselor asked Tommy if he used an aggressive tone when speaking to LaToya. When Tommy tried to deflect by stating that they both can get aggressive with their words, the counselor directed his focus back to his own actions, and that's when Tommy shut down. Now is an opportunity for you to respond. No, I don't want to respond to it. But it's an opportunity to talk. Well, here's Tommy being Tommy. After leaving the session, he announced he was headed to Dallas to see his daughter. So, just like in her first pregnancy, Tommy left her to spend time with his child. After the episode aired, social media users took to Twitter to call the couple's relationship toxic. One person even stated they predicted the couple would split up within the next year. But trouble was actually right around the corner. In August 2020, one month before LaToya's due date, The Shade Room revealed Tommy had been cheating on LaToya with a Dallas Instagram model. Hmm, is that why he was catching so many flights to the Triple D? The woman told the gossip blog she had the receipts to prove their affair, including two videos. One video claimed to be Tommy lying in a bed, and the other video was a bit more explicit. The woman also said she wasn't the only woman Tommy was piping down. Now, we're not going to sit here and call Tommy a little liar liar pants on fire. However, we're trying to understand how someone goes from practicing celibacy before marriage to committing adultery. <laughs> Allegedly. But anyway, moving on, Tommy responded to the allegations in a series of Instagram posts that were captured by Hip Hollywood. In one post, he wrote that he hoped the rumor didn't cause LaToya to go into preterm labor. 
LaToya gave birth to their son Tyson in September 2020, and in January 2021, they released separate statements to announce they were going their separate ways after four years of marriage. Days later, an online user spotted Tommy at an establishment with another woman, his daughter Madison, and some children. In an online post, the tea spiller wrote, The server who's taking care of them said they are a family, trying to get a picture, but I don't want him to see me. Tommy denied the allegations of having a secret family. LaToya told Essence magazine she leaned on her friends, family, her therapist, and her spiritual source to get her through her season of loss. She also struggled with the reality that she would be a single mom of two. By the time her 40th birthday rolled around in March 2021, LaToya was ready to go back outside. She posted fun pictures from her all-girl celebration in Cancun. And a couple of weeks later, Tommy took to his Instagram to announce, Need my wife back. Psh, boy, please. LaToya announced in July 2021 that their divorce was officially finalized. These days, Tommy is working as a real estate developer and devotes his free time to being with his three children. LaToya, on the other hand, is having fun decorating her new home. Our girl is glowing, too. It appears that LaToya is enjoying the single life, and we wish her nothing but the best. If you enjoyed this video, let us know down below. And thanks for watching RRG.